if you want to use grades guidelines or ruler whatever you like to call it in davinci resolve you can't because there isn't any option there are some workarounds but i don't prefer those so i made this plugin which allows you to use grids as easily and as efficiently possible it's called let me guide i know it's a silly name i got it from my previous plugin name suggestions i found it funny so i'm gonna keep using it so when you download and install this plugin you will go to the effects generators then let me explain and there you go let me guide so drag and drop it to the timeline and boom you got two grids you get up to five horizontal and five vertical grids which i think more than enough so on the inspector panel you get some options first you get the thickness which control the thickness then you get the center on off option which gives you one vertical and one horizontal line right in the center i kept it on because i thought this is the one people going to use the most so by default it's always on then from here you can control the vertical line and the horizontal line and also if you go to this drop down and select fusion overlay then you can also control the line from the screen but it has a problem which i will mention later in this video so for now let's turn off the center lines and then let's move on to the next one so instead of placing the lines randomly i thought why not place them somewhere we can take advantage of if you turn on tl grid it will give you two lines one at the top one at the left and then if you turn on dr grid it will give you one at the bottom and one at the right making it a 3x3 three three grid which can be useful in various things then at last if you turn on the tl safe and dr safe you get a safe area by the way you can also have the safe area from this view and safe area just turn on it and you can also have the safe area in davinci resolve but i thought why not add this one too and finally at the bottom you can change the color of these lines so these are all the features you get in this plugin and now let's talk about some cons so i would like to get back to the on screen controls so the first thing you would notice all the controllers for vertical lines are at the top and all the controllers for horizontal lines are at the right side and that because even if you turn off the lines from the inspector panel these controllers don't hide i have tried disconnecting the nodes and disabling the nodes but it doesn't work as long as the nodes is selected the controllers will be shown so i thought why not arrange them in a way so that it doesn't overlap other controllers and make a huge confusion then comes the next problem which is these controllers and these sliders aren't in sync so if you move one let's say if you move with the slider you'll see the controller stays the same place which might cause confusion so i would recommend you to move only one of them don't try to use both simultaneously if anyone knows any solution of these problems do let me know in the comment section and one more thing it also works on other aspect ratio so if you use a vertical form tiktok aspect ratio it also works on there and it also works on a square aspect ratio i don't know how but it works that's great let me know if you have any suggestions i will work on the user interface more and also a huge shout out to azure roland i have watched a lot of his tutorial to make this plugin more user friendly so check out his channel if you are interested in scripting and Lua and macros. I will give the link in the description. And also if you want to download this plugin, you can download it from my Patreon for free. And let me know what do you think. See you in the next video. Bye bye.